Hi, I'm Charles. Welcome to another episode of Onomata Poetics. This episode is called Ice Equilibrium Time Lapse. It didn't start out being about ice. About two weeks ago, I was looking for inspiration and um, was looking at sites that were doing things with acrylic color and uh, with uh, melting medications and candies and macro photography and they got some fantastic results and I thought that'd be a good place to start. So I tried my hand at that. I took uh, a number of uh, medications that we had, some supplements, some vitamins, um, some candies, some cough drops, and I tried dissolving them in water. Uh, I used time lapse and um, slow motion, which I'll get into in a minute uh, when I talk about the technique, and uh, I got uh, mixed results. I realized quickly that the equipment I was using was not going to achieve the same kind of results as what I'd seen on some other people's sites, and I decided that maybe I should look for something a little bit different. After I tried various medications and supplements and candies, I thought maybe I would try cubes of sugar. So I got both pure white cubes uh, as well as brown sugar cubes. I dissolved them in water and one of the things I liked best about them, other than playing them backwards and watching the uh, cubes be reformed, was the kind of bubbles that came out of them and the number of bubbles that came out of them which I ended up using as a overlay on top of the ice footage in the final visualization. When I was doing the sugar I also decided maybe I should inject a little bit more color into it and I tried adding food coloring to uh, white sugar cubes. There is a a downside to it, um, you have to work quickly as as soon as you add the food coloring the, the sugar cubes do start melting. As soon as you touch them they do stain your hands quite badly and as soon as you throw them in the water the effect happens almost instantaneously way before the sugar actually dissolves. So Moving on, I decided to be a little bit more purist in my approach and ditch the color and just use ice cubes. I have ice cube trays that make both large cubes and spheres of ice, and these are what I used for the visualization. Here's a shot of the equipment the way it was set up for the time lapse. The visualization was shot in two ways, both using the Canon 6D Mark II doing time lapse at a shot every five seconds and my JVC uh, LS300 which was shooting continually uh, sometimes for up to six hours and then I would speed that up and post up to 20 times. In order to create the time lapse I captured 17 and a half thousand photographs over a week. In that same time I captured 359 gigabytes of video for a total project size of 456 gigabytes. This is by far the largest file size of any of the episodes shot thus far. There are a lot of analogies that I could make to the current situation and ice melting. It could be something about transparency, it could be something about balance, about yin yang, about literally the glass being half empty or half full.
Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I had a good time making this. We're hoping that the next videos will feature Sasha. And uh, I look forward to seeing you soon. Thanks so much. Bye.